take a close look at this image. It might look like a real statue, but it's actually an AI-generated image created using Leonardo. I used this AI-powered tool based on a downloaded statue image and an AI-generated image of an Asian woman. Today, I'm going to show you how you can do that in Leonardo. This is essentially my go-to method for mapping any face onto another picture, whether it's real or AI-generated. It's a six-step process that works well almost every time and produces excellent results. You can also find a detailed step-by-step -step guide to this process on my blog, where I've written up the entire tutorial. Let's get started. Step 1. Use Leonardo to write the prompt. First, head over to image generation in Leonardo. When it comes to writing the right prompt, I don't try to describe the image myself. That never turns out as well as letting an AI do it for me. So, I'm going to use Leonardo's Describe with AI feature. Click on the Fairy Dust button in the prompt window and then select Describe with AI. You can choose from images you've uploaded from your machine, something you generated earlier, or even an image from the community feed. Let's pick our statue image and confirm. Leonardo will take a few seconds to analyze the image and come back with a super detailed prompt that I think does the image justice. Step 2. Choose the right model. Leonardo has some presets available that are essentially combinations of models and styles. The Leonardo Phoenix model is pretty powerful, but it doesn't fully support all image guidance features yet. So, I'm choosing a different model for this tutorial. Since I want the result to be very realistic, I'll choose the lifelike vision preset. Step 3. Use character reference for facial reference. Next, let's click on the top right button in the prompt window to open the image guidance options and select character reference. Then, we need to tell Leonardo which image to use as a facial reference. In our case, that's this image of a young Asian lady. Step 4. Use content reference for referencing the shape. We want the face of the Asian lady to be pasted onto the statue, so let's use content reference. This feature uses the shape and structure of an image to influence the output. For us, it means using the image of the statue as a shape reference. Step 5. Generate image. Before we generate the image, I want the output to be as photorealistic as possible. So, under Advanced Settings on the bottom left, I'll choose the Photoreal option. Now let's click Generate. The image generation takes a few seconds, but then it gives me exactly what I wanted. The face of the Asian lady rendered onto the statue. It's not perfect, the veil is missing, but it looks pretty good. There is a way to improve that using Style Reference. Step 6. Use style reference for better results. Say you want the image to look even more like the original statue with its black background. You can use the statue image as a style reference to improve it further. So let's choose style reference with the statue image and then generate again. The results are amazing. They now resemble much more the original image of my statue, but with the face of the Asian lady. To recap, if you want any face on any other image, my recommendation is to use character reference for the face you want, content reference and style reference for the image you want to use as a base, and describe with AI to generate the prompt from the base image. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Let me know in the comments if there are any other Leonardo AI use cases you'd like me to show. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.